Join us. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are to 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 and southeastern part of Nigeria, of uh, northerners who are peacefully and then uh, lawfully carrying out <laughs> their means of livelihood, working towards making ends meet. But for some obvious reasons, uh, were being killed, property destroyed, and then things like that. We are aware today marks exactly one year when the uh, NSAS protest started. And by the grace of God, as it is clocking one year, we are also receiving a comprehensive report of the number of people that lost their lives, most especially when I say number of people that lost their lives, northerners that lost their lives during all these uprisings between the hashtag NSAS, which gave birth to the Shasha Akinyele uh, market uh, uprising as well as uh, the killings. As you can see, it is clear uh, we've lost a lot of people, we've lost properties in goods and kind. Worst of it all, most of our women were raped during that period. It is so painful. It is so unfortunate. Whenever we remember these th things, we feel pained. Very, very pained. But northerners, being who we are as law abiding citizens, as those who believe in Nigeria and the continuity of Nigeria as a nation, every one of us here belong to an organization. And these organizations are duly registered organizations of the Corporate Affairs Commissions of Nigeria, which is by law. Uh, our existence is recognized. And then we have followers. Talking about 115 organizations. And yet, by the special grace of God, even though our people were killed, property destroyed, but we were able to manage the situation that not a single southerner or easterner lost a needle, not to talk of losing his life, courtesy of the activities of the Northern Consensus Movement. We were able, by the special grace of God, work towards ensuring that our youths who were aggrieved, tensed, angered, and we are willing and ready, and just about to start uh, uh, perpetrating mayhem in retaliation. But by the grace of God, we were able to coordinate and control that situation. That at the end of the day, like I said earlier, not a needle of any southerner or easterner was missing, and also no life was lost. On that alone, uh, 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 expresses our determination and our willingness to coexist with our brothers of the other part of Nigeria, in Nigeria. That is not to say that we did that because we were afraid. No. We did that because of the love of this country and also for the unity uh, of the country. We have said it in the past, we are going to repeat it again. The number of Igbos and Yorubas that are resident in northern Nigeria. Igbos alone has about 19 million people that are resident in the 19 northern states. Yorubas has about 17 million that are resident in northern states. Out of this 19 million Igbos, only about 4 million of them are on transit. When I say on transit, they go and come. But 
the other 15 million are permanently resident in northern Nigeria, not only that they own properties, they own personal houses, they own shops, they even own farmlands and personal bought and sold to them and they have documents for those properties. Same thing to the Yorubas. They own farmland, they own houses, they own shops in northern Nigeria. And our people from the north are almost like doing labor work for them. Yet we try as much as we can to protect their lives, we protect their properties, we never allow anything to happen to any of them. But at the slightest provocation, a southerner or an easterner is always eager, ready, and in a rush to destroy the life and property of a northerner. We've sung this before, we are repeating it again, we've said enough is enough. Though we are not troublesome and we are not willing to break the law, but we will no longer tolerate the destructions of lives and property of our people. We will no longer tolerate it. Again, the number of northerners that are resident in the entire south, south, southwest and southeast is just about six million. And of these six million, two million of them are what we call the entry runners. They go after uh, raining, se uh, raining season, during the dry season, they go to the south, south, southwest and southeast to do some minor jobs. And immediately the rainy season is coming, they return back. So we have only about 4 million that are permanently resident, resident in all the three geopolitical zones of the south, south, southwest and southeast. And of those, none of them will hit his chest and say that he owns a personal property in those areas. Most of our people are living in bachas, in wood uh, constructed houses. They live in uh, what you call motor parks. Most of these houses and under the bridges. And comparing the investment of Yorubas and Igbos in the northern Nigeria that is running into billions of naira. Not only billions, trillions of naira. The northerners investment in the south, 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 southwest and southeast is almost nothing. Because most of our people are either shoe shiners, wheelbarrow pushers, tomato sellers, orange sellers, uh, uh, and then uh, uh, pen, fingernail cutters, and then uh, um, Okada riders. Mostly, this is what our people do when they go to those other parts of the country. So if you put the investment, apart from people like Dangote and Boa, if you put the investment of the entire 6 million northerners that are in the south is not up to the investment of one single Yoruba man or one single Igbo man that is resident in the north. Most especially those that are in Kano and Kaduna. If you go to Kaduna, in, on Ahmadu Bello Way, that is the major interest, the major street of Kaduna. 95% of the buildings in Ahmadu Bello Way belongs to Igbos and Yorubas. If you go to Kano, no man's land, Java, Sabangari, every structure you see in these places, and they are skyrocketed buildings, every structure you see in that place belongs to either an Igbo man or a Yoruba man. Yet, we live peacefully, we try to protect them. But our people have become prey in the hands of these other people from this other part of Nigeria. So we are saying it's enough. And this is how it comes about that this report we are, we are receiving today, the number of people that have been killed and properties lost for committing no offense, just for the fact that they, might, they migrate from the north to the south in, in an attempt to make ends meet which by the Nigerian Constitution 1999 as amended 
they have every legal right to do that. But this is what is going on. So we've complained to the federal government and all authorities concerned of these killings, including the United Nations, uh, the British Parliament, the American Parliament, and any other organization that is internationally recognized that we've cried to them that this is what is going on. We do not want to take laws into our hands, but our people have been killed and we need compensation. We asked for 47 billion naira. Today, we are receiving reports from a compensation committee, Northern Consensus Movement Compensation Committee, that has come up with a comprehensive a report of the losses, both of life and properties. We are receiving this report, and this report will be forwarded to the federal government uh, for, the, for their necessary action.